Hello guys, welcome back. First of all, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. Stay safe, stay at home. Okay, another video uh, tutorial to flash back the stock ROM for this LG V50 Tin Q and this model are the U Plus U50 Plus at the moment I'm using uh, Evolution X this custom ROM Android 11 to flashback this uh, stock ROM you need to use the flash tool the LG up 1.16 and also the driver that's the most important LG mobile driver must be installed and you LG United mobile driver this too when you insert the pawn in whatever mod this driver will override the driver they are detect this driver are from mm. uh, LG Mobile Cyber WSQL version 480 you can use the 450 or 430 whatever is is the same that after that you run the ADB setup 1.43 and for the LG up first run the DLL file this one the installer oh, after that you run this uh, LG up install the DLL and second one LG up 1.1603 DLS the dynamic library for the pawn release on this year this is the version 1.0.40 for the latest bond maybe the number are different got the LG up already and the DLL and the driver that I detect when you insert the pawn in the flash mode this window 11 a bit tricky to use and another thing before you install any driver first disable the window driver enforcement if you are using, uh, if you are using Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 you have to disable the driver 
Enforcement Seek Air Driver Signature Enforcement Search the tutorial How to disable it Actually it is very simple Hold the shift button on your keyboard On the window Startup Restart Still holding the shift button and then you will get into the recovery menu that's very simple search for the tutorial how to disable the driver signature enforcement because when you install this driver a lot of the driver are rejected by the window because of the security reason when you disable the driver signature enforcement you will see a warning dialog box whether you want to install or not the driver it give a warning a red dialog box when you are installing the driver just click install anyway when you get that into that uh, dialog box okay the LG app already installed and the pawn I'm still using the stock bootloader the original bootloader if you are using the modified bootloader please flash back the backup bootloader that you are already backup because that modified bootloader only to get the fast boot mod to unlock the device after you unlock that bootloader are not needed anymore you can flash back the stock bootloader ok we off the phone to get into this flash mod call this volume plus volume plus volume minus and the other side power hold volume plus only connect the cable now it's putting into the flash mode if you see a red warning uh, something something there that means your bootloader are using the modified bootloader so boot into this uh, EDL mode use Q field to flashback your backup bootloader that you do before in this mode the driver are LG Android Net USB serial port if you see USB serial port that means uh, you are correct the driver are correct it's not ADB it's not EDL serial port the com whatever port you are using that depends on your PC ok to flash this uh, firmware first your stock firmware must be correct because this LG uh, got the anti rollback you can downgrade but you can upgrade if your current one your current firmware are let's say if there are three model this one open korean this one is the skt and the other one lgt if you are using lgt get the LGT if you are using SKT get the SKT if your current one are the Z or the M you must use the Z if you flash the M will get an error there the latest one are Android 11 yeah I advise don't flash this KDZ 111 on your device in case you want to use the Android 10 you 
can revert back because of this anti rollback. So the best you place the Z version, whatever model you are using. If you are using KT, uh, SKT, get the Z because the current last update are on the M Android 10. After that, this is the zero. That depend on your device. This is the Z. If you are using LGT, get the LGT. For example, I already got uh, this is mine LGU because I'm using the U version U50 LGU the SKT this one the SKT if you flash uh, different KDZ you will get error also let's try it run your LG up ignore this uh, can open new file you will get this dialog box window use the republish or upgrade upgrade is when you are on a stock ROM let's say you are using the M upgrade to Z use upgrade and for me from the custom ROM I have to use the refurbish this is the COM19 see here COM19 we are connected to the COM19 if you don't see this one that means your uh, you open the file folder for the LG app your model common this one are not available that's why we run uh, just now we run the LG command DLL and the flash tool we run this one and then this one otherwise you will get error also depend on your PC also sometime the PC run perfect sometimes they very troublesome installing the driver especially this LG app a lot of trouble okay you see the security trade I have to allow it it had the LG the driver always reject the this is window 11 window 10 not so bad the security window 11 very strict ok the KDZ over here you see this 3 dot choose the file Let's say I want to press this KT. No, mine is LGU, this one. The Z. Okay. Stand my mod. Correct for the correct file and refurbish. Over here, you will see it start on the pond initializing it's check ok you see the COM19 it's connected that's why have to choose the correct one because mine is the U model LGU if you if, if you use the SKT get the SKT if you use the LGT get the LGT but don't flash the latest one Android 11 you can revert back to Android 10 because this anti roll back ARB it 
flashing actually the flashing very simple but the driver this one very troublesome first disable the driver signature enforcement on your PC wait don't restart the phone it's still flashing don't disturb it Eighty four percent, eighty five, it's still flashing. Don't disturb the burn, it will reboot after hundred percent. If you see the over here, it finished eighty nine percent, it's still flashing. The pot are changing now, pot com sixteen. See, mine are LGU. If yours SKT, get the SKT. If it is LGT, get the LGT firmware. Complete. When it is complete, you can disconnect the pawn. When uh, just wait, it reboot. I don't uh, plug off the cable because I want to charge it. Uh, once again, the link for this firmware Korean Open the SKT the LGT mine is LGU I think this one is LGT Korean Open also link for the sorry link for the LG up it's from here I get it from here this is the effective one I try a lot of uh, LG up one one six is the only one that uh, working with uh, is uh, with this LG B fifty. Can exit this one. If you unplug it, the driver will chain USB diagnostic port, the serial port com 6. After the pawn reboot, it will chain to MTP. Uh, let me do the setting. First of all, your A, B, L, A, and the B that you back up before keep in a safe place. Yang A, B, L yang kamu dah back up uh, sebelum ni simpan elok elok mana saya punya. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah. This is mine, and this is my SKT model with my brother, also the ABL. Yang ni dengan adik saya backup. Saya dah backup. Saya dah unlock port order. Yang ni yang saya guna sekarang. Kiranya put order ni korup pun susah nak start. Ha, tu. Ok, 
kita boleh flash balik ni menggunakan Q fill ok language atas sekali language this US Sekejap, saya masuk driver, driver, driver that's the most important on your uninstall program you must see, you must have this four LG mobile driver, LG united mobile driver LG up common DLL, this one for this uh, LG P50 for other models, different DLL and uh, flash tool edge up for file this is under 10 there is an update uh, latest update android 11 that one also not bad the firmware but the charging speed really slow on this uh, let us Android 11 the Android 10 no problem the charging speed if you use the 30 watt 20 watt charger the charging are ok on the Android 11 the update let us update really really slow that's why I'm using the custom ROM the charging speed very fast can get to 2.5 amp maybe less than one hour if you use the 33 watt charger Poco F3 MI10 Android 11 and Android 12 At 65, at 70 Yes, Poco F3, the best. Already got Android 11, and for, for MI10, maybe at the end of this month. For other phone, Mi 11, also, I think already released the beta version. o'clock this one 11 o'clock
this one this LG Bloodway I don't use it the LGU this is the Bloodway the SKT you will see the SKT the LGT you will see LGT see a lot of Bloodway here yeah. that Bloodway really easy to uninstall just go to app Where's the other app? Add info, uninstall. So, can be uninstalled. Also can. Oh, banyak blood way. Huh. Semua tak guna punya. That's why I gonna custom ROM. Yang ni boleh di kita deploy ya. Yeah. Why? Hi hi hi. System. About what? number that it back developer option USB debugging my device already unlocked let's see not active you can relock back the device the boot into fast boot fast boot or em lock if you want to lock back the boot loader if you want to unlock fast boot or em unlock on the fast boot mode okay let's try to deploy the unwanted app we remove this one SP serial pot is changing now to portable device MTP where is it okay the tool that I'm using the Xiaomi ADB Fastboot tool. Wow. Which one it connect? Is it to my There is two points in the USB. One is the Poco X3, one is LG. The tool are confused. No mind. I think that's it. video today 
how to flash this uh, stock firmware on LG V50 you can update the software after the Z there is another one the S I think after the S A I'm not sure forgot already can see update center and 21A after the 21A this one still Android 10 I think after that another one uh, Android 11 okay that's it once again thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video